Hey everybody, tonight we're gonna to take a walk as we head up to try to catch some more of our F body section. But first, jump on over to nobodysplaybook.com, check out what we've got going on over there. I'm Chad Oak with Nobody Else's Auto. We deal in classic and special interest cars and parts. We have over 1,100 classic cars in our salvage yard, and that's what we do and that's what we love. Thanks for coming by Nobody's Show. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we're glad to have you here. And this is going to be the show for gearheads. We're going to talk about hot rods, muscle cars, customs, classics, trucks, cab overs. We may even get into some of the newer stuff into the 70s and 80s. We're also going to talk about gas pumps, signs, oil cans, toys, all types of automotive memorabilia. Because here at Nobody's Show, this is your show. We're going to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 o'clock. Don't miss it. Now let's get into tonight's episode. Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Just got done shooting some footage of our Ford truck section and we were heading up to another section. We're gonna shoot a little more of our F body Firebird and Camaro stuff. So we, uh, we're just gonna take you on a walk as we head that direction. First here along this road, we've got a couple of late 40s era international KB pickups, KB1s, KB2s, something like that. These trucks are pretty rough, a lot of stuff missing, but there's still a lot of good stuff there. Some good solid sheet metal, things like that. So in front of the internationals, We've got a big Pontiac, 66 Bonneville Brome, four-door hardtop. These cars were big, but they were cool. It's missing some pieces, but man, there's a lot of good stuff on this car still. Still got the front end in it, split grill, so good looking car. In front of the 66 Bonneville, we've got a 62 Bonneville four-door hardtop. Sold some trim and things off of this car. Still a lot of good stuff there. Pretty solid body. In front of the 62 Bonneville, we've got one of our 67 Pontiac Grand Prix. This is a one year only design with the tail lights and the nose on this Grand Prix. It was the only year they made a Grand Prix convertible was in 67. We've actually got three 67 Grand Prix Tudor hardtops in stock. I do not have any of the convertibles, but I do have three of the actual hardtops in stock. So in front of that, we've got a newer Mustang, mid 90s Mustang, kind of got mixed into the end of the row here. Behind the Mustang, we've got another one of our 67 Grand Prix. And obviously these, part, these cars are missing some parts. This being a, you know, a very unique one year only design, especially the only year they made the convertible. These, uh, this stuff's really hard to find. So when people find out I've got three of them, we sell a lot of pieces off of them. Walking along here, a few more late model things that have gotten mixed into the row here that uh, need to go back to a different section. And then we've got one more little short bed Chevy. Early 60s era short fleet Chevy. This thing's really, really tough. It, uh, it's rough, it's not complete. Seat's gone, dash cluster's gone. But the deal with this pickup, it's rough, it's tough, it's ugly. I drug it out of the iron yard. It was gonna be flat. It literally was in its last couple days. It was a short bed. I was like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know why we're gonna save it. But we loaded it up and there it is. So we brought her home, she's in the row, and it isn't going anywhere. So got her way worked up to some of our Firebirds and Camaros. We'll catch a few more of these. And uh, for the, to wrap this episode up, we caught this first section already. Right in here, we've got a 77 Trans Am. Um, this car's rough, it's been parted out, but it is a actual 77 Trans Am, originally a white car. And uh, one of those that brought in years ago, I've got, obviously, as we've talked about before, I've got a bunch of Trans Ams, I've got some good Trans Ams, and kind of a, Firebird nut. So next to the 77, we've got a 76 Trans Am body. This is a pretty solid 76 body. There's no drivetrain in it, but uh, I picked this car up probably 30 years ago. It's been sitting up on blocks ever since the day I picked it up. Well, there's still a lot of good stuff there and in a good shell, I think too, that somebody could probably do something with. Next to that 76 Trans Am, we've got about a 79 Camaro Rally Sport. 
with the two-tone black and silver paint. These were a really unique car. They were a really good looking car in their day. Once again, this car's been sitting around for years and years and years. It's been parted out, but it's a pretty decent shell. It is a rally sport. We put it in a row, line it up with our F bodies because we love them, we hope you do too, so that's why they're here. So anyway, we'll get into some more of the F bodies in a near, in a near episode in the future. We've got lots more to see in the F bodies, uh, third gen stuff, fourth gen stuff. So lots more of that to get into. But anyway, that'll wrap us up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.